We're going to look at the concept of a class today. Um, we've used instances of other classes whenever we create a string, we're using the string class. Um, but primarily we're likely just to have looked at objects that hold what we might consider to be one thing. So for example a number might be held in the integer class or uh, text might be held in a string class. Sometimes we need, for example, to hold multiple pieces of data that belong to the same type of thing. So we're going to take the example of a coordinate today. Um, a coordinate has a value uh, to represent the latitude and a value to represent, represent the longitude. Um, now it would be rather inconvenient to have to have a, a, a value, so a double for latitude, a double for longitude, and then if we wanted to put them into some sort of collection like an array list, we might need one for the latitudes and one for the longitudes and could quite easily become quite unmanageable. So the, the solution to that is to create a class to store or to represent that data. Classes can do more than represent data and we'll look at that in a future uh, video but for now we're just going to look at how we can use uh, a class to, to store data. Okay, so um, let's start by creating a new class. So I'm just going to right click within the package of my project and choose new class and I'm going to call it a coordinate because that's what it's going to store. Okay, so we know that when we have a coordinate we have a latitude and longitude value. Okay, now these can either be expressed as decimal values, so for example 55.2317 um, or we can express them as degrees, minutes and seconds. Um, the simplest option for us is to store it as a decimal. We might look later at how we can convert between the two. So our coordinate, as we know, has a latitude longitude. So we'll create um, variables to represent them. Okay. Uh, so we would have a double for a latitude and a double for longitude. Okay. Now, when we create a coordinate, we want some way of being able to ensure that the user specifies those values. And we also don't want them necessarily changing those values once a coordinate has been created, because if they wanted to change them, they might as well create a new coordinate. So what we can do is we can mark these uh, existing coordinates as private. That means they can't be modified directly from outside the class. Okay, And we can create what's called a constructor. So this means that when we do something like coordinate, my coordinate equals new coordinate, we can specify the latitude and longitude there. Okay? So a constructor is a little bit like a method, um, except that it, um, the name is, is exactly that of the class. So we do, for example, public coordinate, and we specify what we want the user or what the user or developer must um, specify when they create a coordinate. Okay, so we don't want to create a coordinate without latitude and longitude value. So we can say they must specify a latitude and they must specify a longitude. Okay, and what we want is when they create a new coordinate is this latitude value to be stored here and this latitude value parameter to be stored here. Now you might think, well, they've got exactly the same name, so um, that's rather confusing, okay? Um, and we can actually differentiate between the name of a parameter and the name of uh, uh, what's called a field or an instance variable. So we can say this dot, lat longitude or latitude, we'll start with latitude, and you'll notice it's lit up in the IDE here, it's been highlighted in blue, and it also highlights this one to say that this is the one we're working on. And we're going to say that that value is going to be equal to the latitude passed in, and we just reference that without the um, without the this dot. Okay, uh, so there we go. We can do that. Okay, this is now highlighted um, because there's a warning saying it's it's a sign, but it's never used. We'll, we'll use it later. Um, and then we do the same for the longitude. Okay, so now we are at a point where we can create uh, a coordinate with a latitude and longitude. The problem is we can't actually get the value of the latitude or longitude back out. Okay, um, so to do that we create we have to create what is called um, an accessor method or commonly known as a getter. 
And that is literally just a method, uh, in this case, that returns that value. And in Java, the convention is to name that with a uh, the prefix of get. So again, we'll create another public method. So we can use this method from outside the class. Um, we'll call it get latitude. And again, the IDE knows what we're trying to do. It, it knows what a, a getter is, and it's suggesting it. So we can actually put it in, and it will even put in the code for us. OK, and we've lost that warning at the top. Um, we'll type the other one by hand. So we can say public double get longitude, and we can return longitude. Um, now, sometimes we may want, once uh, uh, an object has been created by, um, by a developer, uh, to actually be able to change things uh, within it. Okay, If we were to do that, we would create a what's called a mutator or a setter method. Okay, I will create it for coordinate, but I'm then going to remove them because we don't actually want them there. So if we wanted, once the coordinate has been created, the user to be able to actually change the latitude or longitude value of a coordinate, we'd create these methods. So again, it's public. This time it doesn't return anything, so we specify the return type as void. And you'll notice again the ID is, is already thinking about what we might want to do. Um, I'll do it by hand. We'll do a create a set latitude method. And obviously, in order to be able to change it, that method must take a parameter. So we can specify that that method's parameter is a double. Um, and we'll call it latitude. Uh, and then what we would simply do is say this dot latitude. Okay, remember this dot refers to the instance variable or field as it's known in Java, and specify that it's set to the value for the latitude. Okay, um, we could do similar for uh, a longitude. Okay, uh, I will I'll put the longitude one in, but then I'll comment them out uh, so they remain there as a. Um, so, so we can see what they would look like. But so we can't accidentally change our latitude and longitude value after we've done it. Okay. So we've commented those out. So there's our class. Okay. This class is pretty much just a data store, as I say. Um, and we can have a look at how we might use that. Okay. So Let's say we want to create a coordinate to um, store the location for Chester. We can use coordinate, and you can see that it's there inside our package. Um, I'll call it Chester Coords. Cord. Um, and that is a new coordinate. And because we created that constructor, it's forcing us to specify here the latitude and longitude. If I retype really that, you'll see it pop up. Okay, so I happen to know that the latitude for Chester, i.e. how far north or south it is, is 53.193392. And I happen to know that its longitude is minus 2.893075. Okay, um, similarly, we could do the same uh, for London. So we could say coordinate London chord. Uh, again, that's a new coordinate, and again we're forced to specify that uh, latitude and longitude. Again, I happen to know that for London, uh, or Trafalgar Square at least, it's this value here, and the longitude is that value there. Okay. So now, if we wanted to uh, make use of that, we could, for example, put them in a collection. Um, or if we wanted to print out just the latitude, the longitude value, we could do that. So if we want to access Chester Cord, um, we hit the dot. We can see there's two methods, get latitude and get longitude. So if I wanted to print out Chester's latitude, I could do something like, uh, we could execute that and see the output. There we go. So uh, nice and simple. The other thing we might do is just add a bit more um, to our class so we know exactly what's going on. Okay, just as a reminder, we might want to remember uh, that, for example, the uh, latitude is how far north or south, and actually um, that is uh, up plus or minus 90 degrees, whereas the longitude is how far east or west, 
and that again is plus or minus, well, it's plus or minus 180 degrees. Um, that's just a comment, so it's had no, no effect, but it helps us if we uh, try to remember what's going on. Okay, um, just as a quick demonstration, um, we'll enable the set latitude and set longitude methods, and I'll just demonstrate, for example, that if we wanted to move Chester in line with um, the uh, Greenwich Meridian, okay, so we could do something like Chester coord dot um, set uh, longitude, and if we set that to uh, zero, then we'd find that the Chester coordinates, um, if we printed them both out, so we could do get latitude and get longitude. Um, would actually now be in line with Greenwich. Um, as I say, it's unlikely we want to change the value of a coordinate, so in this particular example, uh, we're actually probably better off without those set methods, those setters, those mutators. And again, we'll, uh, we'll remove that. Um, obviously, it depends on what we're doing as to whether or not we want those methods. So that's a basic introduction to um, using objects for uh, data storage. As I say, we can do more with that, and we'll look at that in another video.